Hello, hello everyone. You have to forgive my voice. I have not been um, at my best the last couple of days. You know, my health has been, you know, kind of iffy. But anyway, I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to be making two dishes. One is going to be um, an actual meal and the other is a dessert. So we're going to have a main course and we're going to have a dessert. And I was supposed to come up with this, um, well, actually, I came up with this idea a while back when I made the regular biscuits, and I've been in the kitchen trying to make um, a keto or low carb version um, biscuit recipe, and some of them have been epic fails. <laughs> But I think I was able to finally find something um, that worked for me. And so um, I had to take the King Arthur keto wheat flour out of the equation and go with something that's strictly um, gluten-free. And so I've combined um, some pecan flour, oat fiber, the flax seed, gargum, egg white, and leave one out, ran out of space, and some cellulose. This is basically another gum product, but it's actually good for baking, especially of bread products. So that's what I have here in this bowl, and all of the measurements and stuff will be listed um, in the description or in the comment sections. So, let me go ahead and get started because today I will be making for you all a chicken and dumpling casserole as well as a blueberry cobbler. So, let's get started. And here's hoping that everything go according to plan. All right, everyone. Spoons up. Okay. Starting with the chicken dumpling casserole, I have four baked um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I have here. I'm going to pretty much um, chop or mince up this. Then I have a stick of butter melting. And then over here, I have my dry ingredients, my heavy cream, and some water. This amount, um, I'm actually going to see if I need to... Uh, increase the amounts of liquid in this once everything is in the pan and then I'll see because once it's baking and it thickens I don't want um, the dough or the biscuits or the dumplings that I'm going to put on top of it to soak up all of the um, of the liquid so I may have to increase that but anyway here we go Okay, here I've chopped up all of the chicken, and what I do is I slice it very thin, and then I go back and I chop over the pieces and make them even thinner, and this is what I get here, break it down. So getting a lot from a little. Okay, I've prepped a 9 by 13 pan. I have that butter. I'm just going to pour the butter in here. And if this process looks very familiar, it's the same thing that I did with the peach cobbler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because there are quite a few people who I know have very busy work schedules and they're looking for quick one pan um, meals. Basically put it a little bit of preparation, put it all in there, put it in the oven, walk away until the time expires and you have your full meal. So that's pretty much what I'm doing today. I'm giving you your main course and a dessert at the same time. Here we go.
Okay, just as you saw me do previously with the butter and the chicken for the casserole, I'm going to do the same thing for the blueberry cobbler. Here I have the blueberries going back there, and then I have the butter here. So I'll go ahead and I'll pour the butter in. And soon as the berries are done, I'll pour the berries in on top of this. the spoon real nice. All right. Okay, so the blueberries are done. Um, and with me, for my blueberry cobblers, I prefer them to be more, um, a little bit, not bittersweet is not the word, tangy and sweet. Um, it's more what I go for because I like to put on some whipped cream or a scoop of ice cream and the ice cream helps um, balance out the flavors. So right now it's um, lemony um, or tangy from the lemon that I added in and then there's my sweeteners in here as well. So right now this is basically what I do for my blueberry toppings or blueberry jam. Now going back to the chicken dumpling casserole. This is the pan that I had the butter in that I just poured in for the blueberry cobbler. So I'm going to add my heavy cream to this. As well as a half cup of water. And I'm going to add my mixture of seasoning. Okay, so while the sauce is thickening and doing what it needs to do over there, I'm going to go ahead and make the dumplings or the dough that's going to go on top of both the chicken, cas the chicken dumpling casserole as well as the blueberry cobbler. Um, to this mixture, I'm just going to add in some almond flour. And like I said before, all the ingredients will be posted later. All right, I hope you guys are keeping up with me. I'm going in between the two meals. So, this has thickened up very nicely. And what I'm going to do, I've turned the fire off. And I'm just going to stir in the onion and garlic um, pre ray Or basically the minced um, onion and garlic. And that's from Spice World. I love using their spices. Like I said, this is basically quick and easy meals. So when you don't have time to chop that seasoning, use the Spice World uh, onion and garlic. And they have the ginger as well. Okay. Go ahead and pour the cream over. Okay, so this is not enough broth. And then that means that the biscuits will soak this up not our uh, the biscuit dough or the dumpling whatever you want to um go by the name of so using the same pan i have some almond milk and some water and it was whatever leftover heavy cream that was in the cup from when i used it earlier so i'm just going to cook this down with a little bit of gar gum and i'm going to add some more of the um Miss Dash table blend and just make it a seasoned milk base and then add that into the pan. Let's 
So this is what the dough looked like. Um, I had to do the rest of this off camera, um, like I said, but everything will be added. So I divided it in half, and this is what I'm getting ready to do with the cobbler here. So let me get to it, and I'll do the same thing with the um, dumplings as far as the casserole. Okay, everyone, a really, really big change. I decided to bake some of the dough that I had made previously just to see, but it did not bake up well, and I didn't want to ruin everything of what I've already started, so I just went back to the basics, and I made a different um, batter, and that recipe will now be put with everything else. So I'm getting ready to make up a savory version of what I have here with the blueberries to go with the chicken dumpling casserole okay not bad so far so good this is how the cobbler is turning out i'm just gonna brush on some butter and some milk or something like that on top of this so it can brown a little bit more i have my savory version on top of the chicken and i'm getting ready to put that in the oven as well okay that's how that's turning out but i think i'm gonna brown that a little bit more Okay, here we have both dishes. Let's do a little sampling. So you can see what the biscuit looks like. There we go. Mmm. Very tasty. Okay, let's try it without the ice cream. See what that looks like. Let me see if I can raise that up a bit. There you go. Oh, that is so good. All right. Now, I don't know how you guys like your biscuits or your dumplings, but I do prefer mine to be more like a biscuit. Um, and it's a seasoned savory biscuit with different flavorings in there to complement the broth and the chicken. So, doesn't that look yummy, guys? It actually is. Trust me, it is. Mmm. Some people like to put peas and carrots in their um, dumpling. And if you want to do that, you can. You know, feel free. All right, guys. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for joining me today for this edition of Dishing Out Flavor, where we made a chicken dumpling casserole and a blueberry cobbler. So these things will be put into the description or the comment section below. Go and make these and enjoy these. Tell your friends about Dishing Out Flavor. If they're looking for something um, as far as low-carb foods and something that's really full of flavor and that's delicious because they're tired of the same old, plain old, plain old, and you want to spice it up a bit. That's what Dishing Out Flavor is all about. Making low-carb, keto-flavor foods pop with flavor. So, I'm John Quell. And thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.